all started three years ago. Massachusetts IT University said uh, their grad student, Katie Borman, led the creation of this new algorithm to discover the image of the black hole. Take a look at Katie. This is her Facebook profile picture. This is the moment, she says, watching in disbelief as the first image ever made of a black hole was in the process of being reconstructed. You can see it there on her computer and just that look of pride on her face and kind of disbelief. The fruits of her labour really coming out. And if we look at how difficult it really was, uh, the National Science Foundation say it's the equivalent of trying to get uh, a telescope that could show you a date on a quarter from L.A., all the way from DC. Now we heard there about the sheer volume of data there was. Uh, here's Katie with some of those hard drives. The data was so large that she couldn't transfer it over the internet. The team couldn't just send it as data files. Um, it had to be shipped across and people online have been making comparisons um, to Margaret Hamilton in 1969. She was part of the Apollo landings. Stood here with the, her equivalent of all their data there uh, stacked up to over her head height. Um, it's just been an absolutely wonderful story and this is when the internet can come alive. You've been really enjoying, and we've been enjoying in the Cube, looking at some of your comparisons here. We've had uh, uh, the Eye of Sauron, uh, the black hole uh, there, and Space Explorer Mike has said, uh, this is the actual black hole. So do keep sending and sharing those messages. If you want to get in contact with us here at the Cube, just use the hashtag, the Cube. Lovely stuff. Thank you very much.